Hey, what about it, everybody? What about it? What about it? Thanks, everybody, for stopping in. Thanks for stopping in. We are doing a little extravaganza show tonight. I'm keeping an eye on it. Uh, we got a situation brewing. Let me uh, let me see if I can figure this out. YouTube Studios. There we go. Go to the studio. Stu, Stu, Studio. We're getting unloaded right now. They are starting on me early. Currently, we are three subscribers away from 15,000 subscribers. Um, 15,000 subscribers. Come on with it. Everybody mash on that like button for me if you could. We'll get the show rolling here in one second. If this isn't entertaining, um, I, I don't know I don't know what more you want. This is the jaw jacking 15,000 subscribers special. Hey, come on. Um, you know what I'm saying? We, we gonna get this going. Let me get, uh, let me get some things rolling here. Go to my channel, go to my live, uh, like button, my own live show. Bam. Liked it. Everybody get after that like button for me. Um, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're going live. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, first in the house, Divide of Trucking and Trails. Is that a, uh, is that a new avatar there? Dang. Dang, somebody's, somebody's made a fancy new avatar. Damn it. I got this plain old avatar. I got to work on my game here. Gary Bates, jaw jacking it. Gary Bates in the house. Thank you is what I always say. Yeah, no doubt. Love a good jaw jacking episode, don't y'all? <laughs> we are getting unloaded right now. They started on me early. I hope you get out of here early trying to get the heck up out of here. I got to go home and uh, figure out how I'm going to unlock my car. Because the, uh, the battery is dead, and uh, I can't get it to unlock. So <laughs> Now, my car has like a key, you know, like you can take the key out of the fob, but uh, the linkage is broken, the driver's side door. So I got my work cut out for me tonight uh, when I get back to the yard. I got to figure out how to break into my own car. Um, it's going to be fun. Can't wait. Things I get to look forward to. Jerome Jones in the house. What up, big money? Jerry Bates is jacking some jaws. This trucking life in the house. What up with it? What up with it? Joe Gampa's in the house. What up, T Hill? Uh, get back to work, drivers. We got freight to move. Yeah, we got freight to move. Um, that's about all I do anymore. It feels like about all I do. That boy going back inside me? No, he is not. Um, what do we got going on here? What do we got going on here? I'm trying to keep an eye on it. We're vast, fastly approaching the 15,000 subscriber mark. Um, I'm keeping an eye on it. Let's see. Where's the refresh button on the laptop? There it is. 14,997 currently. Uh, oh, we lost one. Damn it. Damn it. Now we're down to 14,996. Okay, I'm on YouTube. What are you doing to me? Um, T. Hill in the house. What up, T. Hill? Um, Gary Bates says, air dryer, crossfires, tires, sweep the truck, etc. Woo! Come on with it. Thumbs up. Poop emoji for sure. For sure. This Dragon Life, Gary, it seems I'm always working when not driving. I guess that's how it's got to be. Yeah. Uh, do you log all that time you spend working on your truck on duty, this truck in life? You know, when you wash your truck in your driveway, is that on duty time? I mean, just asking, just asking. Because <laughs> uh, I find that confusing because technically if you're off duty, you're allowed to do anything you want, you know. Um, let's see what, let's see what uh, the Simi's doing. What's up, Simi? What's happening, uh, Jaw Jack Trucking, LLC? Jaw Jack trucking over here. We Jaw Jacking 24 7. If you don't like it, I got something else you can jack. Come on. Oh, oh, no, you didn't. Jack FM, you know what I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking about. I do know what you're talking about. Uh, We're currently four subscribers away from 15,000. We're doing the live countdown here. Ooh, let me go in and unsubscribe on my mom, my troll accounts uh, quick. Excuse me, we're three away. Three away right now. Um, 
That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Gary says, I forgot the Centromatics uh, drive rotation. Buy a few more stocks. Pay a few more bills. Look for trucks. Take a shower. LOL. You get the picture. Um, can, can I get some Waffle House in there, Gary? Uh, it sounds like I need a Waffle House in there somewhere. You always that need a Waffle House in there. What's that? You always need a Waffle House in there. Sometimes. Too. That's what I, I know you uh, You told me that when I first met you. There's always time for Waffle House. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Whew. Chugging water, dog. Chugging water. It's been a hot afternoon for me. I've been out there, uh, you know, running around, doing stuff. Me too. I've been working uh, in the shop since 2 o'clock. Last night I worked out there till 11.30. It was so nice outside, and I had things to do. So I'm just like, I'm going to stay out here and tinker and whatnot. And uh, stayed up half the night. It, was, it felt great. Having hmm. a good old time. Okay, okay. Did your dog approve of this? She did not. Not happy when I came in the house, but that's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, uh, how did the old lady feel about it? She's sleeping. She don't know. Exactly. Exactly. Adco's in the house. Got him a new avatar there. Uh, large car. Uh, looks looks like a looks like a hood mobile. If I had to guess. Your audio is kind of quiet. Does anybody else in the chat hear Cash's audio kind of quiet, or is it is it me hearing you? I'm trying to figure it out. I got my got my audio my speakers cranked up all the way in my head. Oh, I get it. Trying to figure it out. There we go. If I switch it over to the headset, it actually works better. Yeah, I was going to say I'm screaming over here. I don't know what you got going on. Yeah. Don't know, don't know what you got going on there. All kind of all over the place. Uh, hey, Gucci. Roger Moore in a house. Ten dollars. No overweight ticket profit sharing. Come on with it. Oh, they got Roger Moore. Mm, we know Roger Moore. I bet he's up to something. What's he? What's he doing over there? What, what's your What's your take on this? Um, I bet he's uh, I bet he let Russian hackers have access to his laptop. I'm guessing that's what he did. He likes to do that. Hmm. He likes to mess with them Russian hackers. Okay. I dropped mine off at a computer repair store, and the next <laughs> thing I know, uh, I didn't pick it up for 18 months, and hell, they decided they was going to sell it to the media. Some of them bastards. All the good news is, is they got a similar laptop about the same time, so it kind of took years out of the spotlight. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I, I'm not as popular as some of these people. Gary Bates says, the smellier, the failure. Uh, 100% agree on that. Got that tattooed right across my groin. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, man. On one tonight, boys. I don't know how much caffeine a human being can do, but uh, I'm doing the research for you. Doing the research for you. Uh, still three subscribers away. If you would, share this out with your grandma. And tell her to subscribe when you do it. Um, tell your mama. Oh, oh, exactly. I wasn't going to say it, but I knew you would. Uh, you know, you, you or just wait. I'll tell her. You say yeah, the mama. things we think, you know. Like, uh, like I told you so. <laughs> Uh, Atco says, someone do a super chat. I had to buy fuel today or I would. <laughs> oh. Hey, if you used uh, his mud flap code uh, on mud and bought fuel with mud flap, that's as good as a super chat. Yep. I was going to say, you know, you know how you get $10 for free? Yep. Click that link right there. Description. It's the, it's all the rage. You know, I've been, I put it on TikTok today. So even the kids know about it now. You think them kids are? Fancy in the diesel pickup trucks? Ah, uh, they better. They know what's good for them. Be buying that over there at them over there at them uh, Iowa locations. Iowa locations. 
Uh, Echo got caught in an act. Super Chat here by bestow upon this channel a super chat. It's the thought that counts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I got you, Gary. The thought that counts. Uh, any CFI current drivers here? Uh, do you currently work for CFI DIY? I do not. Uh, and no longer does anybody else. Ooh. Or Ooh. do they? Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah. They're, they're keeping the dedicated accounts, uh, so that'll stay CFI. Uh, how long before Heartland turns it into? Um, how long before Heartland turns it into Heartland Express over there at CFI? Ooh, inside of nine months, I say. That's what I think. Very quickly, very quickly. What you got going on over there, DIY? It looks like you're calculating right. and tabulating. <laughs> I'm I'm uh, making up some com checks for the night, so I don't have to take some calls in the middle of the night. Ooh. Uh, send them out here, and then uh, rest peacefully. Mm. Hopefully. Mm. Glad glad I could glad I could uh, teach you that. Oh, DIY is bowed out. Uh, he'll be back. He'll be back. Trust me. Uh, if anybody will come back, it'll be DIY. He is like uh, he's like a rash of herpes. Um, he might go away, but when you get nervous or uh, you got something big coming up in the near future, he'll pop up. That's right. That's right. <laughs> some kerosene and a wire brush will make me go away, just like some herpes. Exactly. Exactly. If you guys don't know, I put out a CFI video today. Check that out. I got it out eight hours before Asian Ma got his out. Uh, his currently has 10,000 more views than mine, just saying. Um, <laughs> it is the nature of the beast. Um, We're barely getting started. I mean, you know. Yeah, I got a long way to go. I got a long way to go. Hey, what's the odds Walmart starts unloading me before my appointment time? I would say next to none. Because it's happening right now. Woo. And I mean, they're going fast with it, too. They got me worried over here. Yeah, uh, but they're going to make you sit after they unload it. Count it, you know. That's the truth. You know what You know what they actually do at Walmart? They'll unload it, they'll count it, and then the guy will ride around on a forklift for an hour and a half with the paperwork clipped on a clipboard, and then after he unloads an entire another truck and counts it, uh, maybe then he'll run it to the office. They're conserving fuel. Guess what I got in the mail today? Tell me about it. I got a... I got a violation nope. Double North ended Texas dildo. Tollway here yeah. for, uh, I said, I said double ended dildo, you say? <laughs> a violation from the North Texas Tollway for uh, a truck that ain't mine. What? I don't know whose truck. This ain't even one of my license plates. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know. I'm paying this. Damn, Texas. What are they thinking? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, a lighthearted current F insane driver goes out to you. Okay, a lighthearted F you. Um, CJ Hudson says, Monday just got a lot better. Yeah, we're keeping them up all night. We're jaw jacking until we hit 15,000 subscribers. I'm just saying. Oh, let me... Uh... Let me share this shindig out. Maybe that'll Ooh, help. We're two away, boys. Two away. Come on with it. Two away. Uh, well, we made up a lot of ground. I was about 40 away this afternoon. I was going to make this, like, uh, more dramatic than it really is. Oh, sorry. I put it up there and forgot to read. Oh, yeah, Monday just got a lot better. Stan Dodge in the house. Thank you for stopping by, Stan Dodge. Smack the subscribe button at the manhole. Yeah. For sure. TBT channel member in the house. Hey, jaw jacking crowd. Kelly Patterson channel member in the house. In the channel member in the house. Damn it. One of these days. <laughs> so stupid. It's all right. It's all right. Hey, at least YouTube's not uploading your, your video with no audio. No, they don't have to. I do that stupid stuff myself. 
I never could figure out what happened to that, man. Um, but it did okay. It came back with a vengeance. It came back. Uh, uh, there we go. I shared it out, so hopefully we'll get you to we'll have you to fifteen thousand in a fortnight. Whatever that whatever that is, you know, other than a video game, I don't know. You talking about a fork tonight? That too. Somehow Garmin thinks that's a command. A fork night. <laughs> it's not. You, Garmin. I got me a new GPS in the mail waiting on me right now at the house. Okay. Can't wait to do a video about it. Kelly Paterson's in the house. Channel member from La Miranda, California. Boy, that sounds like a pretty place, doesn't it? La Mirada? Yeah, that's a nice place. There's no there's no it, in there? Maybe there maybe there's a El Miranda. I don't know. Miranda. I'm I'm gonna say Miranda Rights. Welcome to Miranda Rights. Yeah, Rodney King and whatnot. Yeah, <laughs> sounds about right. Freight relocators in the house. He smashed the like button. Thank you very much. 71 in the house. What a crowd for a late Monday night. Must have pulled in all the alcoholics. <laughs> <laughs> it's still up from last night. Hell, we still up from Saturday night. Uh-huh. Say, wait a minute. It's Monday? I thought it was Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Hope I still got a job. So are you late for work? I don't know what day is it. <laughs> Dirt Road Salvation's in house. Uh, but of a late one tonight, yeah. Yeah, it's a jaw jacker. Jaw jackers are always late. Joshua Campbell, new, new to the show. I don't remember that avatar. Maybe maybe uh, got some new faces in here. <laughs> Did you see this name? <laughs> what? Now, where the hell, how far down are you? Oh, you got, uh, you'll get there soon. <laughs> yeah, I'll get there. Uh, Viking Trucking's in the house. I sent some links out to some people, but uh, I guess I guess they're, uh, you know, they think they're superior to us, and uh, they won't come in. So, um, Roger Moore, I'm going to unsub. Uh, do you don't get too famous and forget your roots? Oh, Ooh. I've done forgot about all that, Roger. That was a long time ago. Um, you know, the name, the name's, uh, Toby now. Yes. I'm a ways away from my roots. Uh, Jackknife TV says, Hey, what's up? Just got done doing my number one injector, two more to go. Thunderstorm helped me up three to four times a day. Half of the job will be uploaded tonight. Takes a lot longer when you're making a video, don't it? Damn sure does. Mm. Yeah, Rogers says uh, my solution to unlock the car would be a brick through the windshield. Wouldn't take much, Kelly. You don't even know. Wouldn't take much. You should see this windshield. It is literally, it is literally busted and cracked. It's got a crack that goes all the way down to the bottom and then comes all the way back up to the top, like a almost a circle. I could, I could probably put a my GPS suction cup to it and just pull that part out. Classic. Uh, um, try duct tape window trick. Duct tape window trick. Um, yeah, I'm, I might, I might run up to the, I might run up and get an airbag to put in there and pry that door open a little bit. Get in there and get that lock. We'll see what's up. We'll see what's up. Shiny sides in the house. What up? TBT says you can take the key fob, the key out of the fob, but you can't take the fob out of the key. That is very true. That is very true. I always said that. Stand I, Jeff Y. I had the same problem with the battery. I used the key to unlock the door, then jump the battery. All good now. Yeah. If that key worked, I would done be in that car. Uh, <laughs> it's not so much that the key doesn't work, is that the lock mechanism is broken inside the yeah. handle. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that piece of metal that connects that lock mechanism to the actual lock, not so much. Yeah. Not so much. When you when you stick that little key in there and turn it, it's just uh, I mean you might you might as well be you might as well be throwing a friggin' hot dog down a hallway. Just saying. Um 
What is it? You might as well be might as well be putting a toothpick in a volcano. Come on. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Roger Morin says, get one of those airbags from the Home Depot to put in the door open. Uh, and stick a coat hanger in there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking an early morning trip. Uh probably just hang out at the yard tonight. It's gonna be late before we get back uh, you know, home. I'm I'm a little ways from the yard right now, so um we'll probably just hang out at the yard, drop this trailer. Uh got me a different trailer I'm gonna hook to. And uh, you know, so I gotta drop trail anyway and or trailer. Um so what we will do is probably take a little early morning ride to the Home Depot and uh, get a, get a piece of get a piece of stiff wire to make a to make a door fashion a door opener of some sort and uh, an airbag an airbag yeah I seen a, I seen a guy do that uh, on YouTube that seemed to be the way to do it seemed to be the way to do it uh, Casey Mo in the house. Uh, don't get arrested for breaking into your own car. Yeah, I thought about that. Set off the alarm tonight in the middle of the night over there, looking all suspicious. Looking all suspicious. It's Minnesota. Is anybody really going to look twice? No. Kind of, kind of out, out on its own too. So I, I don't think anybody would care. Uh, Justin's in the house. What up, everybody? On a thirty-four at the house again. I swear to God, every time he comes in here, he's on a thirty-four at the house. Um, how do we? How do we do that? How do we do that? Um, uh, are you are you DIY? Is this one of your troll accounts, DIY? Yes. Always at the house. I figured it was. Roger Moore says I can open a car in like two minutes. I have no doubt. I've heard that about you, Roger Moore. Russian um, hackers taught him that. That was <laughs> that's on his LinkedIn page. I went over there the other day. Said number one thing, I can open a car in like two minutes. Hot seats in the house. What up, hot seat? Uh, dang, I'm late to the party. Nah, you just on time. How many you subscribers, know? dog? What's that? Did we, did we make it? How many subscribers? Uh, let me see what we got. Let me see. Refreshing. Refresh. It's so refreshing. Come on! Oh, fifteen thousand with a with a come on. Fifteen thousand. Well done. Congratulations. Thank well deserved. Thank you, you very much, everyone. Uh, I much appreciate that. Fifteen thousand is a big number to me. I try not to get too like every you know every time it hits a thousand. I try not to get too crazy about it, but um, that's a big number to me. That's that's a big number. You know, when you when you when you're grinding it out, you know it's it's a big stepping stone there. Um, let's see here, Vikings. Hey, Cash, T B Mrs. TBT. Hello, hello. Don't forget to hit that like button. I would never forget that. What do we got here? Uh, coaches, truck and referrals and recruitment services. I am the only one here that's actually <laughs> stolen a car. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've never, I've never stolen a car. Um, I did borrow a car one time and uh, crashed it into a rock wall two miles after I left in it and totaled that damn car. And my buddy had just bought it the week before. Oh, are you still buddies? I ain't talked to that guy in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I mean, I wasn't mad at him, but, you know, just saying. Yeah, I don't know what his problem was. <laughs> exactly. Damn up tight people. Um, Kelly says, uh, you better you being late than your wife saying, honey, I'm late. Yeah, diggity dog, come on with it. It's even worse when it's that random chick down the street, come on. Mm -hmm. I just shit, wah, wah. Um, Latina 1979's in the house. My husband uh, woke me up to subscribe to your channel, so I did. You know what? I'd like to give you both a congratulations. Uh, you know, number one, you found a partner that uh, you can tolerate. And, uh, you know, you, 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 you help him out and, uh, 
you know, you, you didn't murder him for that. So I can say that's probably some love there. If I, you know, just, I mean, I don't know the whole situation, but I'm saying like, you know, uh, how do you feel, Dale? Well, if you woke your old lady up uh, uh, to say, hey, subscribe to this channel. Um, In one fell swoop, I'd have a knife to my jugular. <laughs> oh, man. The other one would have a 45 holding it to my temple. Yeah, I was going to say, doesn't she sleep with a 45 under her pillow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She'd say, hey, wake up this. <laughs> <laughs> She'd say, I'm sorry, did you say something? Speaking of my microphone, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Thank you both for uh, that one. That that makes my day. That makes my day getting over fifteen thousand. <laughs> uh, look, took care of that issue. There's a doctor that'll be dead if that happens. Uh, the wife said, "Yeah, okay, okay." Sometimes, sometimes you gotta let the doctor know what's up. What do you think about that DIY? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you paid good money for that. Uh, let's see what we got here. Free freight relocator, five dollars. Congrats on fifteen thousand. I got thirteen. Uh, not K, just thirteen. Okay. <laughs> um, well, hey, everybody, go check out freight relocators. Go check out that channel. We love helping smaller channels out around here. It's one of my things. You know, when yes. I started this channel, I said. Um, you know, when I started going live, I didn't have but like a thousand subscribers. But that's one of those things I always wanted to push other people's channels. Um, I don't know, just just seems like a good thing to do. Roger Moore just got a green light, fifteen hundred pounds over on my drives. Damn it, boy! Ooh. Damn it, boy! They're working fast on this one. They are in and out of that trailer like you wouldn't believe. Uh, Waffle House, hell yeah! Give me some Waffle House. I'm kind of hungry. Uh, get the truck stop chipped beef dinner. Okay. Uh, well, I haven't had a good chipped beef in a long time. We used to eat that all the time when I was a kid, and it's hard to find anymore. Yeah, that's the way I am about chicken livers. Uh, you don't see chicken livers on many menus anymore, do you? For a good reason. Mm. Grew up poor dog eating them, eating them poor foods. Like chipped beef. Uh-huh. That's, that's what made me so. That's what made me so smart and strong, eating all them eating all them organ meats. <laughs> uh, what's the old thing? Uh, I'd rather, I'd rather have. Uh, or no, what's what's better? Uh, roses on your piano or tulips, tulips on, on your, your organ? organ? Yeah, I get it out eventually. That's, that's what, she what she said. <laughs> Turn <Turtle laughs> salvation says. You have not lived till you've been face down in a bowl of grits at the Waffle House. Yeah. I ordered so much food at the Waffle House one time. The lady, uh, the waitress asked me if I had a tapeworm. <laughs> so, no. You got any on the menu? Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I worked, I used to work at like a Home Depot distribution center 10 hours a day. They worked four tens. And man, let me tell you, when you got off work uh, lifting that crap all day, uh, you was hungry. And uh, you just go over there and tear it up on Friday. Uh, come on, everyone. Hit that subscribe button and that like button as well. Yes, thank you very much. We are over 15,000 subscribers. It don't even sound real. 15,001 subscriber. Come on with it. Thank you very much. Roger Moore, $10 super chat. Thank you, sir. Uh, hot seats verifying. Audio is good. Thank you very much. Uh, Oscar, he's quiet. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, me, me, uh, nice, Roger. Thank you. Kelly Bederson says, I got so used to 100 plus degree weather that at night it cooled down to 86 and damn near put on a jacket. Whew. Yeah. Ooh. Um, I think, I think fall is approaching very fast. I Maybe mean, we have had some very cool nights here lately. Um, have not fired up the generator in like, except for when I have to park during the day here lately. Uh, T. Hill, I was just at Waffle House this morning. The jukebox robbed me like a bad broker. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> what song was you trying to play there, T. Hill, at the, at the Waffle House? Um, I'm, I'm very curious. This Truck and Life channel member in house also, also has a channel. Go check it out. Go check him out. If you want to drop links, anybody, if you're a moderator, you can drop links to your channels. 
Uh, he let the gold finger take control. Come on. Uh, where's the beard with the nice legs? Ooh. He's at home with a tummy ache. Ooh, 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 ooh. He was here last night. He showed up. I was tinkering in the shop. He shows up, hangs out with me for 15 minutes, says, I got to go to the bathroom. Goes up to the house, destroys my bathroom, comes back, lays down, never saw him again. <laughs> I thought you were going to help me. I thought you were going to hang out with me. He was going to make a video of me making a video and call it his very own. Wow. It's a but great his idea. Was upset, so he had to go lay down. Okay. Uh, I just like to say beard game strong. Beard game strong. That's all I can think of now. Um, damn, Killian's got me got me on beard game strong. So, um, I don't know. Oscars and Hatch, you know that thing fell off the back of a truck. Damn it. <laughs> oh, me. Emmy and Truckins in the house. What up? What up? Uh, let me tell my teen daughters to subscribe. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to. That's going to mess with the algorithm a little bit. I appreciate it. Right. I appreciate it. Um, we have a trucking business here in North Austin, Texas. There you go. There you go. Let's see what we got here. I uh, better come a shitload than a shitload. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to get to that one. I was going to see if you are going to read it. Uh, hey, <laughs> I'm like Ron Burgundy. I will read anything. <laughs> I can't oh. believe that that one didn't get censored by YouTube. Oh Usually no, it... I got it. I got it fixed where everything comes through on this. Oh, uh, I didn't know you could do that. Mm, oh yeah. Hey, Lawrence Myers is in the house. What up, Lawrence uh, Myers? Lawrence, we're jaw jacking tonight. Yeah, a lot of jaw jacking. Uh, haven't bought fuel in a week. Been in the shop repairing stuff while the rates suck. Well, there's. Oh, you think anybody of... told him don't put his truck in the shop with full tanks of fuel? Ooh, that's a good point. That's a good point. I would sell that fuel on the open market before you put the truck in the shop. Um, you know, you want to recover some of those funds, plus evaporation <laughs> and whatnot. <laughs> we, uh, coaches, trucking, referral, and recruitment services will tell you more about that. Yes, yes. Chicken Hawk's in the house. What up, Chicken Hawk? Um, Starkey, family fixing and rigging in the house. Uh, we doing good. We doing good. 82 in the house. Everybody check out my special guest DIY semi. We don't get this guy in here very often, but mm. when we do, we like to ask him a bunch of questions and uh, chop them up, make short videos out of them. Um, <laughs> um, anything interesting going on over there with you these days, DIY? Mm, you're trying to get me to spill something? Any purchases you would like? talk about uh i think the title would be did i have a stroke have i lost my mind yes yes um that's exactly what i would tell or it. have i gone crazy crazy like a fox big news coming on diy's channel so if you guys are not subscribed to diy go over there subscribe to him ring the bell check out his videos he's got like 300 videos He's Ain't one of them up. worth nothing. Oh, uh, spoiler that. alert. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> did have one good one. Uh, I'm, I'm buying another truck. Woo! Um, let me, hang on. Don't say nothing. Everybody guess what kind of truck DIY is buying right now. You know him. He's a Freightliner guy. I like money. He likes money. I like money. fuel economy. Fuel economy. That's all we're going to give away right now. You got to guess. You got to guess. Um, Red Diesel's in the house. Channel member. I'm at the Walmart in Terrell, Texas. Six hours. Still no unload. Whew. Feel for you, bro. I have been to that Walmart before, and uh, that one that one can take a little while. That one can take a little while. Uh, Adco used mud flap at Little America on my way here. There you go. There you go. Um, bought mud flap today at the Road Ranger. Road Ranger. Uh, locked in that code last night. Fuel went up 20 cents a gallon overnight. They honored the code I locked in last night. Come on. They'll do that. Uh, and if lock, it goes down, they'll give you the new price. Yeah, lock in them codes, boys. Lock in them codes the night before, I always say. Um, find you a fuel stop you know you'll be getting to for the next day. And if you don't, 
they take a fifty dollar deposit and they put it back if you don't use it. So uh, what what do you, what are you losing out on? A fifty dollar hold on your on your money? Shoot, save. Hey. I bought a I bought uh what did I buy today? A hundred and sixty eight gallons, I do believe. One sixty eight times twenty cents, thirty three dollars. I saved today, American. Mm, that's real money. It is. It is. Uh, we just had our daughter subscribe. Thank you very much. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm liking these people more and more. Hang on one second here. Business and whatnot. Uh-oh. Can I, can I read some comments? Yeah, go for it. Hello? I'll read some comments while Cash is gone. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, where did he leave off at? All right, hey, my paper salvation. Works. It's a big year. My paperwork's ready. Dog. Oh, you go ahead. Go, go get um, it. I'll, I'll run through some comments while you're gone. All right. Or no. Hey, my appointment was nine o'clock. Damn. Thirty-five minutes at a Walmart. You're hmm. good. Can we get a little jig while you're back there? Uh, Dirt Road Salvation. It's a big year for trucking companies buying each other. It is. Mergers and acquisitions are the game right now. And probably going to see more of it. It's a good time to... Well, I mean, a better time to sell your company was last year when your numbers looked really, really good. But chances are, if they just closed that deal, they've probably been working on that deal since, ooh, probably six, eight months. I'm just That's, looking for something back here. Don't mind me. What the hell are you doing? All right. Uh, with both feet in the house is hey Scallywags. Thanks for coming in with both feet. I'm working on getting it? more subscribers. You shaking it? You gotta show some crack, dog. Oh, I see what you're doing. Put it away, Jenna. Put it away. Ah, uh, take that, take that, all you girls that flash your ass on the internet. They took it. They took it. Now they got to go throw it up. <laughs> Kelly Patterson in the house with that Australian herpes. Damn it, boy. That one's, that Australian variety is particularly hard to get rid of. I'll just tell you that. Freight locators, 100% chance I win. Craig McKinney, what? I never left Minnesota. Parked in Wisconsin now. Be safe. That's a good place to be. Wisconsin and Minnesota are great. You can always find parking. That's what's great about coming up this way. Truck stops everywhere. Uh, Rest Area Raccoon, they can send the count to your company later so you don't have to wait. Yeah, they can, but they don't. But they don't. Walmart does what Walmart is going to do. Uh, Ryan Peterson says, Riding with Dave announced it before anybody did for you and Asian Mai. Yeah. He was, but he had that video made. We were talking on the phone. He's like, "Should I put it out or not?" If he'd put it out right away, he'd beat everybody. But hey, you know how it is. Got to make a thumbnail in that. Uh, Oster says Texas hitting up everyone these days. All right, <laughs> Texas. What are they thinking? They're thinking Arby's. That's right. Starkey family fixing and rigging says I am already subscribed. Well, you're ahead of the curve then. AD says, how can I check my 2290 if it's paid? Well, did you pay it and send it in? Uh, or are you meaning you just haven't gotten it back yet? They're slow, man. They'll cash your check. They'll get it back to you sooner or later. Um, busy time, but an influx of them right here before the end of the month. But you'll get it back. There is a number you can uh, fax a request to to check the status, get it expedited. But they don't care about that either. They're the IRS. They're waiting on their 82,000 new agents. Uh, and then they're going to bring a gun to your house. They'll, they'll, they'll hand deliver your 2290 on the barrel of a 45. Sounds like it's how it's going to happen from this point forward. No no more fax machines. Uh, Starkey says, I did no audio live stream last weekend on my other channel. Totally my fault, too. You got another channel, Starkey? I'll post a link to it. Drop a link. Dangerfield says, can we all unsubscribe from your channel, then resubscribe, and you would have more followers? That would be uh, that'd be even money, sir. 
end up with the same number he's got now. Uh, WCF Invader says, not sure. I got the same issues going on with my 2290 paid and filed it at the end of June. And I'm still waiting on it. Faxed them an expedited request and still nothing. Yeah, they take their time. But it's all right. You got you don't have to. You get a grace period to turn it in for your license plate. So you got, you're fine. They kind of work off the previous years. So you should be uh, you should be good, depending on when your renewal date is. Kelly Patterson says, I got too much blood in my vodka stream. Damn it, boy. You got to take a nap. Sort that out. <laughs> Miller Boys Trucking, are you going to talk about trucking or just jaw jack? We're just going to jaw jack when Cash gets back. We talk trucking on my channel. Cash's channel is for straight up jaw jacking. Uh, Stargy says, I just got done filming a leaky hub replacement video on my flatbed trailer. All right, that ought to be a good one. Post a link to it if you'd like. Oh, you didn't you didn't put it up yet. You just filmed it. Gotcha. Ooh, Chalplex says, pulled into the fuel island and a truck had a poop bag hanging on the corner of his APU and poop splattered all down the side of his trailer. Shouldn't have tried to sling that bag out while driving. That is nasty, man. That is nasty. Or did he run it over and it, it flipped around his tire and slung onto his APU? Maybe he didn't do it. Maybe he didn't do it. I don't know. Ugh. We're not. We won't even explore that. Uh, let's see here. Everybody saying great job on the 15,000. Yeah, let's get him some more, man. Cash puts the work in, man. I tell you what, he's the hardest working man on this thing. It ain't just making the videos. He's, you've seen the thumbnails. and <laughs> You've seen the live streams. He puts a lot of thought into planning and and doing these things. So definitely uh, you know, give him a thumbs up. Spread the word. Share it out, man. Share it out. Two for one says, apparently FedEx ground tra contractors aren't too happy these days. One of the biggest said they might shut down by November 25th if concerns aren't addressed. Really? Damn. What if they shut down about the same time as the railroad does? That would be that would be bad. Oh, just trucking in here. Says, congratulations, and cash is here and missed it. How about that? How's about that? <laughs> Midwest Mike says, we all got that one sketchy friend that can get you in the car. Yeah, that's Roger Moore. Everybody needs a Roger Moore as a friend. He'll get you in an inside of two minutes. Uh, two for one says, went and looked, and there are more than a few FedEx route businesses up for sale. Two for one, where do you where do you uh, find such listings of FedEx routes for sale? I'd be interested uh, to, to learn more about that. Not that I'm looking for one, but I just kind of want to see what's what, what they go for. What the details are. Well, quiet, everybody. He's back. He's back. Yeah, we we back. Uh, everything's good. Everything just, good. Just trucking came in here for a minute to say congratulations. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, there it is. Congratulations. That's right. Uh, thought I had some super chats down here. Let me put those up on the screen real Ooh. quick. Yeah, I can't do that as a guest, but. This Trucking Life says, congratulations, Cash. When I started following you, I think you had 3,000. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. It's been a fun one. It's been a fun one. 15 for 15. Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate that. Much appreciated. Um, there you go. Check out this Trucking Life. Um, you, want, you want to keep it rolling or... Yeah, what, we can what, keep it rolling. I'm good. Uh, right, we were just down. I was right above uh, this truck and life super chat there, pretty much. Okay, well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna let you run it for a minute. I gotta go. I gotta go uh, hook all everything back up and and uh, get off their property post haste. All right. Yeah, give me one second. Oh, where do we leave off here? Marty says, "How long is it gonna take you to get to thirty thousand? I think he's gonna catch fire. He's putting out so much content. Uh, eventually, the algorithm's just going to catch him and, and take him right up there. Uh, they've really caught on to him here in the last few days, I'll tell you that. Uh, Chalplex says, it's definitely the day cabs pulling doubles that think because they can do 66, 67, they can just stay in the left lane. Well, they FedEx, dog. They can, they're everywhere you want to be. 
No, that's not FedEx. That's Visa. My mistake. Uh, freight relocators, the smaller channels are great. Just a matter of searching them out. Yes. And we all start as a small channel. So uh, I I also like to help smaller channels out on my channel. Some, you know, people help me out. Not that I'm any by any means a big channel, but people help me out. Pay it forward. You get the better you get the best information from smaller channels. I'll tell you that. Uh, they don't, you know, ain't so worried about looking good or entertaining you. Kelly Patterson's DIY just don't eat the chip beef patties off the ground though. Oh man, you ruined it. They're dehyd they're pre-dehydrated. All you gotta do is add water. That's all you gotta do. Oh, yeah, it just made me throw up in my mouth a little bit. Keltarusu travels says chicken livers is a really good stuff. That is nasty. Keltarusu travels also a channel member. I tell you what, while well, Cash is gone, how about everybody sign up as a channel member? Be a nice little surprise for him when he looks back at it. We're just talking about you. Don't worry about it. Don't don't look at me like that. We we're just talking about you. Can you breathe okay? Did you have to crank a landing gear? Oh, it's the worst. It feels like the gear sprockets aren't even the same size. Like, do we need to do the stroke test? Is your are your arms hurting? Uh, I know uh, face, ass, stomach, and I don't know what the T is. Teeth? Is that the is that the fast thing for stroke? Probably. I mean, it takes both hands to crank that thing. That's what she said. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's always appropriate. Are you now a dash cam channel? Can we watch you drive and you talk to the camera? Uh, yeah, let me read comments while I'm going down the road. I'll take care of the comments. You just drive. Uh, this truck and life super chat. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mrs. TBT subscribe, subscribe to Freight Relocators. Now you in trouble, Freight Relocators. That TBT clan will come in there and just raise holy hell on your channel. Before you know it, they're going to make t-shirts about you and tell you everything's your fault. Hmm. No, Hope I you can handle you. it. Yeah, that's me. My bad. My bad. Uh, Kokalti says local versus OTR. Hmm. Well, what you want to do? You want to go out and see the country? You want to be home every night? It's a big question. It's a big. Qu I think Cash actually has videos about that. I just ran over to Chalk. Hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I know he ain't joking. Oh, six Semper Tyrannus sardines and mustard on a cracker. That's what it's all about. I still eat sardines. I don't, I don't even know anybody else that still eats sardines, but I still eat them. Love them. Love them. A-K-A-F-U, already subscribed. Thank you, sir. Got a, got another super chat. Kelly Patterson, this trucking wife, dropping a link. Freight Relocator says, check out DIY's video with Freight Connect. That thing was loaded with info. Yeah, there's some earlier ones that are just even better. Yesterday, we're just kind of... Oh, Paul had some things, you know, history. He was doing some writing and just inspired to talk about some things. But some of them older man ones, man, I tell you what. I tell you what, you're going to learn a lot. Um, freight relocators in the shop with full tanks, departing with an eighth of a tank. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, it's part of the shop fees. They siphon half your fuel out. No, the reason we said that is because somebody in a video one time said, don't ever put your... Don't ever go home with any fuel in your truck or put your truck in the shop for, with any fuel in it because that money is just sitting there and you're just going to lose that money. And trying to trying to make a case that that it was a financially a dumb decision, not nothing to do with stealing it or evaporation. That's all just a joke. But trying to make the case that that uh you you were doing something wrong, you know, because you're not going to just burn that fuel when you get out of the shop, right? It's just gonna you're just out that money, I guess. Airwolf says, stay safe out there. Thank you. We we can't read any political comments because Cash has had some trouble YouTube taking some videos down because of it. So uh, we'll have to skip that. DIY is a good guy. Uh, I've heard that about him. 
I have firsthand knowledge that he is a jack wagon, though. So I'm going to have to disagree with you. Oh, people guessing what kind of truck I'm buying. A Mac, a Mac, a Volvo, KW, auto car. Ooh, that would be a good purchase, an auto car. Think of all the content. But how'd you get part? They're, auto cars, they still make auto cars. So you could probably get parts for it. Uh, Kelterusu says Mac. A 579, Mac for sure. Mac or a Kia. <laughs> cab over. Ooh, cab over. Uh, Volvo. Ah, oh, Dwayne D. Damn it, Dwayne D. He says that classic was on the live. Is that the truck he's buying? Yeah, I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy that. Uh, we're buying a classic. For now, you wouldn't expect that from me because I like the aero trucks and the fuel mileage, but it's a 99 classic Detroit pre emissions, pre ELD. And I'm not just buying it to like go over the road and make a living. It's it's kind of got a special purpose. It's going to be for some content. It's going to be kind of like a pet project. We're going to do some work on it, fix it up, probably. Probably piss off everybody that owns a classic by stripping away some of the classic qualities like the air cleaners on the outside and, and all that. See what kind of fuel mileage we can pull out of it. Probably do some experimenting with it. It's a those are good trucks, man. Them classics are good trucks. So uh and they get they get decent fuel economy, uh, if you drive them right. Uh I don't know. Probably put somebody in it event either keep that one for myself and put somebody in one of my other trucks or do it on a lease purchase or a company driver. I don't know. Probably going to be adding something here somewhere, somehow, some way. Don't have it all sorted out yet. It'll be a couple weeks before I can even go pick it up because I got to go trucking this week. And uh, when I get back, I'll worry about that. But, uh, yeah, that's what uh, that's what we're doing, man. The classic in May. For big orange? $75,000. One million Turkish lira. Nah, that ain't for sale. What about fifty-five dollars? Yes. 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 Uh, Kokalti says, "How do you deal with traffic and unreasonably slow rookie drivers? You constantly have to pass. Drives me so crazy to the point that I want to quit. You have to relax." Uh, you're getting a little uptight. Uh, unreasonably slow rookie drivers. Hey, we were all a rookie driver at one point. If you're a new driver and just going out and hammer on it wide open at all times, you're probably a little bit outside of your capabilities at that point. Just give them a little bit of grace, man. We were all new at some point. You don't have to pass them. That's your choice. Yeah, uh, the real thing is how do you deal with all the drivers on their phone? Yeah, and their feet up on the dash. Uh, don't let it drive you crazy. Just if you let that drive you crazy, you are going to have a long, miserable career. You're going to get impatient, probably do something at some point irrational or dangerous because you're just fed up and, uh, it's going to bite you in the ass. So just, you got to find a way to not let it bother you. You got to calm down a little bit. You're going <laughs> to, that, that stuff will eat you up over 20 years, man. You can't have that kind of stress. You just got to let it go. It's it's all right. So, so you had to pass somebody. What about it? You pass people all day, every day, probably. Just, uh, just got to get your, find your zen, man. Find your zen. Because you could end up being the hazard. You know, if you're in and out, changing lanes, weaving, people can see you as the hazard, even though you think you're not. So, and I ain't picking on you. I'm just saying. Just, just chill. Chill, dog. Uh... Okay, well, Chowplex says, I would just quit. If you don't have patience in this industry, you're going to kill yourself young with unnecessary stress and anger. There you go. There you go. Chowplex, he knows it. Uh, this truck in life, nope, it's the Tesla truck. You know what? I, I've i thought about that. Be like, buy a Tesla truck or an EV truck. I don't care to have one, but I'm like, I could be the first one with one and blow up my channel. <laughs> I'm like... Do it for content. Drive it, you know, haul local loads with it or something. I'm like, I don't know. But, like, ah, I really don't want one. 
Really don't want to deal with all that. Oh, first one to have one on YouTube is the channel's going through the roof, though. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. AKA, if you was a Sterling, I've never owned a Sterling. I drove one, never owned one. A Pro Star, no sir, no sir. Kokalti says the highways are way over capacity and it's just getting worse. Hey, that's what we deal with. That's what we do. We're on the highways. Kaltarusu says IRS will pistol whip the middle class into compliance. Yeah, there, there, there's a. Uh, did you have y'all seen the ad they're posting online to hire these IRS agents? It says you must be willing to carry a gun and be willing to use it. Oh. What in the hell are they doing? This is insane. Uh, Bull of the Woods in the house. Thanks for coming in. Ryan Brandenburg, Fuel Ox update. On which matter, sir? On which matter? Uh, just made uh, made another video with one of their products today. I'm, I'm protesting. I'm not putting out any content on them until that OOIDA discount goes away. Because they're killing me. Killing me, dog. Killing me. Bull of the Woods. Peace. Yes, sir. How is the weather up there in Oregon? Two for one says, running over the chalk counts as a tug test. Right, Cash? Yeah. You, you well, out, you out there tugging them. on it? You got to test them. I mean, you do. And you have to tug it. I mean, what are you going to do? But what I do, what, but what do I know with barbaristic blends? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? He says, what is a jack wagon? Uh, that would be me, I guess. I've been called a jack wagon. Airwolf, what do you think about the Tesla semi-truck? Are they ever going to put the damn thing out? I don't know. I don't, I, I hear they're getting closer. But uh, what do I think about it? I don't know. I think they have their applications. You know, they yard spotters. Why wouldn't why wouldn't trucks yard spotters that never leave the yard? They should be electric. You got some short delivery stuff. They should probably be electric. But I'm not convinced about the uh, the over. We got to build a whole infrastructure for over the road. But if you had like a like a Walmart DC, you could have your own charging station right there. You know, no, no biggie. Uh, makes a lot of sense in certain applications. Others, it's going to be tough. Uh, where do we leave off here? Remember the classic before it was called a classic? Uh, I had I had FLDs, drove FLDs. I actually prefer the FLD over the classic. They had a little better fuel economy in the setback axle. But uh, classics and FLDs, they were both good trucks. They were good trucks. Rich Are Taco. Better? Uh, I the love affair people have with cab overs, man. I I drove a cab over for a short period of time to start off with, and I never want to drive one again. I I have no nostalgia over driving a freaking cab over, putting your pants on, laying down, climbing over the freaking doghouse, uh, and a whole bunch of other crap. Climbing in and out of that sucker. If you had a bad trailer and trying to slide your tandems, you had to get in and out of that cab over 50 freaking times. Because back then they didn't have these easy pull tandems that, you know, you had you had an older trailer, man. You were going to struggle with those freaking getting them pins to pull. Uh, you were dog ass tired <laughs> before you even started driving. But they look nice. They look cool. Nostalgia. Nostalgia is a lying bitch sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Nostalgia is a dirty whore at times. <laughs> she will trick you and fool you and lie to you. That's what they say. Midwest Mike says you should kick off your flip flops and drive, Cash. We almost parked. We're almost there. All right. This truck in life says the content would be worth it. Yeah, so the truck needs a few things. It's got, I've been told, it's got some air leaks. The air conditioning doesn't work. So we got some we got some projects right off the bat. Um, I'll, I'll be the only one on YouTube here with a Super 10 transmission. I used to drive a Super 10 a long time ago with a top two. 
I actually liked it. People hate them. I actually kind of liked it. It's going to take a while to get used to that, to, to doing that again. But uh, what else we got? It's uh, it's uh, got a painted frame. You always got to look for a painted frame, right? Didn't we, didn't we learn that the other day, Cash? You know, I got out and I looked at my truck. It's got a painted frame. Oh, uh, now next you're going to tell me it's got a hood. Just so we'll get, we'll get some content out of it. I, I don't know. I might just go a little... It's it's a it's it's gonna be I don't want to say a hobby it's just gonna be a truck to try different things on some will work some won't do some experimenting maybe I don't know get to we'll learn some things uh, TBT says don't be a hater and use freight relocators shirts coming soon see they already got you freight relocators. Rich Chicago says, Tesla truck, you mean the truck Elon Musk said back in 2016 that would come out in 2019 and take all our jobs? How many things has Elon promised that never happened? A lot. Yeah, but they're still trying. They're still trying to go to Mars. They made the, the Neuralink. They're testing that. They're doing that underground tunnel. They're doing a lot over there, Tesla. Uh, is cash driving? Allegedly. I believe he has somebody else driving his truck right now. Ooh, TBT says, I didn't think Cash actually drove a truck. I assumed it was a truck set he filmed in his yard. But yes, now he has a moving green screen. Fancy. I'm fancy. Hunter says, sup, fellas? Not Michael much. Anderson says, is the classic like my 4900 EX Lomax? Not really. Uh, your 4900 what year is your 4900 is that the older that's the older western star before Freightliner took him over isn't it or am I thinking of a different model number ooh Hunter saw a Tesla truck on the back of a tow truck today mm. where, where are we at on comments Captain Cleaner Wiener right at the bottom Dually Hotshot question mark Yes. Okay. Dually hot shot. Got you. Got you. Thank you very much, DIY. Getting us through that segment of of the live show. Uh, with both feeding the house, fifteen dollars. Good job, cashiers. Fifteen k more in the near future. Yeah. Yeah. We working on it. We working on it. Sorry. Checking the. Checking the temperature of this truck, seeing if we, uh, we're good to cut her off. Like to keep that idle time down, if at all possible. Now, I'm assuming you boys with them XLs, y'all don't worry about idle times, do you? Uh, no, not when you're living hood life. Ah, uh, that's a good question. Is that a hood truck? You you crushed me right away. I told I told Cash I said, guess what? I bought a hood truck. And he's like, What'd you buy? A Peterbilt? I said, No, a classic. He's like, first words out of a mouth. That's not a hood truck, dog. <laughs> I'm like Damn, you crushed me right off the bat. I say it is a hood truck. I mean, it's it's like is a is a garbage truck a cab over? I mean, yeah, I no, this, well, kind of. But... I mean, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I tell you what, I'll stop saying that if you let me go pick it up. <laughs> no, because you'll make 50 videos on it before you get home, and then I'll have nothing. <laughs> and I'll tell everybody I sold it to you for a massive profit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice truck though it'd be a nice truck for somebody if somebody's looking for a a pre-eld pre-emissions truck that's a good one i know some people looking for trucks like that hell maybe i'll flip it maybe i'll make it you know cleaner up and, nah, i'm not flipping it i'll keep it 
I was going to say, isn't that what you used to tell me about the gray Mac? Yeah. I already have two trucks sitting in my driveway that very, very, barely get driven. Why not a third? Yeah. Um, I don't know. You like, you like collecting. Maybe that's your new hobby. <laughs> semi, semi trucks. DIY hood trucks. Hood well, semi. Let's call it semi trucks. All right. You need to start a new channel called semi trucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Just, just throwing it out there. Two for one says if uh, things get bad with FedEx, you might uh, find some deals on routes. A route with five or six step vans in a jurisdiction with EV incentives could be a good opportunity. Uh, Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's out there. It's out there. You got a couple million to throw down on some some FedEx routes. Why not? Is that a picture of your hood truck in the background? That ain't a hood truck. Mm, mm. Is that more hood than than a freight liner? No. If the freight liner would have a bigger hood than that, be more squared off, it'd probably be longer and taller. Yeah, but uh, it's not really about the size of the hood. It's uh Hang on, let me see how to work yeah, this. Work your way into this one. Come on. <laughs> Find your way through it. It's not the size of the hood. It it's more about uh, how you carry it, right? Hmm. No, that's not it. Try again. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, quick question: Is an FLD a hood truck? Yeah. Why not? It's got as long a hood as a freaking classic. It's just got a setback axle. Ooh, is a truck with a setback axle a hood truck? You know, I was looking at a new Mac Anthem today at the truck stop, and boy, there that front axle sits way back on those. You ever notice that? How far mm-hmm. back that axle sits? It's damn near under the doors. That I did not notice. Yeah, it's way on back there, man. Um, you know how the Columbia, like the fairing that goes under the door, is kind of molded. Yeah, that's kind of how the that's about where the Mac sits back, like the Columbia. I tell you what, that pinnacle I got, man, that thing will swing around like nothing. It turns tighter than my Freightliner. I didn't think there was going to be too many trucks that would turn tighter than my Freightliner, but that thing, it does. Volvo's kind of known for that. I remember when I used to drive Volvo's as company trucks, man. They uh, they got like a 45 turn lock to lock. I mean, they got a hell of a turning radius. Um. But what do I do? I know with barbaristic blends, hot shot ain't trucking. That's oh, a that's a shot. tough name. We're gonna we're gonna start calling him Bob. Yeah, blends. I'm gonna call him blends in the blends. house. All right. Uh, hot shot ain't trucking. Shots fired. I guess I could say there. Uh, TBT. Everyone needs to sign up for the Neuralink program. I would if I could. Uh, I'd love to have a, I would love to have a Google chip in my brain where I just knew everything. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm about as close as you can get already, but you know, I would like to just go ahead and put it over the top. (laughs) Um, Hey, could I make a video of us making a video right now? Do it dog. If you got it in you. That's what she said. Ow. $5 $5 from Roger Moore says it's not about the size of the hood. It's how you push it through the wind for the wind. Come on, Roger Moore. Push some wind up in that thing, I always say. <laughs> <laughs> we have said that before. Yes. <laughs> it's funny because oh. it's true. <laughs> oh, you found your way through it. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know what? When you got when you got the greatest fans on YouTube and you got contributors like Roger Moore, not only does he give me the correct answer, but he gives me five dollars and the correct answer. It's oh, like a, it's like being on Joker's Wild and getting kissed by what's his face? Damn I 
effed up the joke because I can't think of his name. Damn it. I I would love to help you, but I have no idea what you're talking about. The Family Um, Feud. Richard Dawson. There we go. That's the joke. Okay. Yeah. You know, I was looking at my demographics the other day. I got some like 55 to 64 year olds. And uh, I was just thinking like, we got to get DIY on more. Like, we've got to satisfy the demographics. <laughs> you, yep. You can never have too many too close for comfort jokes. I mean. Right. Can, can we get some more Richard Dawson uh, references tonight, please? We could. We could. Okay. Ah, they're. They're, they're waiting anxiously. Now, if you could hurry up, because it's after 10 o'clock and, uh, you know, Matlock's on. <laughs> All night, though. Which, oddly enough, is one of the old shows I do like. I will watch an episode of Matlock occasionally. <laughs> yeah, everybody sign up for the Neuralink. Uh, 04. Oh, four. Oh, his Western star. Mm, okay. No, I think Freightliner owned them by then, didn't they? Mm, I have no idea. I have no idea. It might be the same chassis. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know. Uh, you're going to do a rebuild on that Classic. That Classic's it already rebuilt. One. Yeah, it had one 100,000 miles ago and new rear ends. Uh, where did they get the parts for that rebuild? Did you, uh, did you go through all that? Texas. Hmm. Okay. Hey, make, sure, make sure you didn't get no Brazilian parts in there. They threw in made, a Brazilian wax with it. Made made in Brazil. Hey, guess what? If I blow it up, more content. If I blow okay. it up on the way home, I instantly get to a hundred thousand subscribers. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um what are some YouTube channels that drive classic egg sales? I think Trucker AK does, doesn't he? Never heard of that channel. Yes, you have. Landstar. Mm. Nomadic Trucking? No, that's a Coronado, isn't it? I don't know. Highway, highway, uh, something or other. <sighs> highway D- DIY. There it is right there. That's it. Just saying. Just saying. Um, no, I know you've done the research on this. You are a you are a statistician at heart. Um, that's why I know that you've done the research on this. You know that there's probably a 35% probability that this will rocket your channel to 100,000 subscribers. But there's also an eighty percent possibility that it puts me in the poorhouse. Um, can I expect this truck in every thumbnail? Oh, you better believe it. Okay. <laughs> I've been working on some Photoshop. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. I ain't quite got it right yet, but let's just say I took some pictures of my truck and I'm photoshopping some W nine hundred accessories on it. Um Ain't quite got it right yet, but it, it's coming along. It's coming along. Um, uh, after they took over, okay. Um, freight relocators, y'all like bro, Bo and Luke Duke. Yes, we do like to uh, stare at our cousin when she wears short shorts. That's for yeah, damn we, sure. We damn sure do. We, we do. like to run from the revenueers also. Uh-huh. uh-huh. We love run and shine. Mm-hmm. And I've been told a many a time, I know how to. Uh, straighten a hill and flatten a curve. We both do love to yell yeehaw. Uh-huh. And, uh, I jumped through a car window one time. It was rolled up and it cut me from butthole to neck. Yeah. But <laughs> I do love to slide across the hood of a car, but occasionally that antenna catches you just right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, well, you never did pay for that dent repair last time you slid across my hood. <laughs> I took it to Kansas City and had it pulled out. <laughs> oh, man. 
they do got the best paintless dent removal in the business. And there's a feller down there. That's a good job. <laughs> oh, man. It ain't right. It ain't right. Michael's in the house. A Freightliner chassis, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 99. That would have probably been before Western Star, right? Somewhere around that time. Uh, something like that. Somewhere around maybe that. that's Maybe that's what he meant by 04. Okay. Maybe that's what that meant. Maybe that's when they bought him out. Oh, or that's a year of his Western Star. I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. Hunter's in the house. Uh, TBT says they are just some good old boys, never meaning no harm. Uh, well, that's the part of the song they got wrong. Yeah. We meant a there, fair bit of harm. Yeah, there was that one time, and then pretty, yeah. I don't know, there was a, quite a few after that, too, I guess, now that I think about it. Yeah. Uh, them old Werner Classics are still roaming the interstates. Yeah. I'll tell you, trucks, if you want to get an old truck, um, a good ones to look for are old moving company trucks. They seem Ooh, to last forever. Yeah. They don't put a lot of miles on them. And, and a lot of those loads are lightweight loads. So, yes. um, if you can find an old moving company truck, you, you're probably doing yourself some good. Um, Hunters in the house is a box truck driver, a trucker. Ooh. What? What? We'll have to put a survey up on that one. Survey says. A rich taco in the house. How's the blitz looking? I'm at home. It was my birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. So it was the perfect time to go home. Yeah. I'm going home myself. Not because of the blitz. It's just time to take a day off. Uh, with both feet says, uh, got to watch airplanes. Fly, fight a fire parked on I-84 westbound for an hour or so. Big grass fire next to the freeway. That's pretty cool. Um, dropping fire retardant on there, I'm sure. Uh, Starkey Family says, I'm looking for another Freightliner Century Columbia early mid to 2000s. Um, I do like a Century. I do like me a Century. What's the key differences between a Century and a Columbia? Mm. Century's got the, the round headlights, the different shape of hood slightly. There, There's not a lot of difference. I don't know what the technical differences are. There's my truck oh. right behind me. That That's your new truck? Word. Mm. I mean, it ain't technically mine yet. Yeah. You gonna you gonna put uh, you gonna pick, put a picture of your face on there and a logo for your YouTube channel on the side of it. Absolutely. Trucking for trucking for views. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I would. I would. Um, I don't know. I drove a Century and I drove a Columbia, and it felt like the Columbia was just uh, it just felt like a like a more uh, upgraded type truck. Like the interior seemed nicer. Of course, that could have just been the that could have just been, you know, model to model, you know, like different specs. Mm -hmm. Just wondered about that, if there was a real difference or if it was just, and they, the century was like two years newer. So, you know, back then two years meant a lot on a truck, especially yeah. the interiors. Yeah. Um, a lot of these people don't realize, man, when you buy an old truck, uh, a lot of them old interiors are, uh, um, Need some upgrading. Oh, yeah. Think how many times they've been pissed on. Oh, come on with it. Are we are we talking custom wood interior in that Freightliner? Not so much. Standard interior. Ah. Uh, Ooh. Might have some. You saying customization is in order? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, that goes against everything I believe in. But mm. making money uh, goes to everything I believe in. So if it gives me content that makes me money, hey, maybe we do that. Yeah. Yeah. And at the end, if it don't work out, Mississippi truck wash. <laughs> That's right. 
Uh, with both feet, actual grass. This ain't Oregon. Oh, okay. I think they, uh, they burning grass out there. Hell, you never know. Uh, all that hood and no cattle. Come on. Um, Cummins, I think you're on to something. Uh, carry it. Okay. I miss some. Yeah, me too. Uh, it's not the size of the hood. It's the damage at the fuel pump. Oh, that's See, but that's one. that's content, too. I can go fill that sucker up and say, oh, damn it. Look what it cost me. To... It's got giant fuel tanks. So if I wait till fuel's really expensive and I go run them dry and fill them up, it should be like fifteen to $1,700. Then I can do a video. Oh, fuel cost me $1,700 to fill up. Which you, which you hood truck. Yeah. See, we got them from every angle. Five miles per gallon. I'm dying out here. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm working on a video right now. I'm doing some math. And do you know, my? I've had my truck for 300,000 miles right now. Mm -hmm. And do you know with my average fuel economy versus a truck that gets 5.5 .5 miles per gallon at $4 a gallon, not even at these high prices we're paying right now, $4 a gallon. This truck has paid for itself twice. Damn right it does. <laughs> Think of that, man. I I have a hard time, and it's everybody's certainly free to do what they want with their own money, but like people are still going out and intentionally specking out and buying a truck that's going to get five miles a gallon in this fuel and freight environment intentionally doing that and that and paying through the nose for it of 250 to three hundred thousand dollars i just you know it's it's hard to understand you know i look through a lot of trucks with my my short videos i do and um uh those those custom Two hundred fifty, three hundred thousand dollar trucks. That list is getting longer and longer. Let me tell you, who's buying them? Nobody. <laughs> There's trucks on there. It's been on there for months. I gotta filter through all the ones. Sometimes I gotta go look and see if I already made a video on this one. Um, I don't know. See, G now I can make videos about my hood truck, and then I take one of the other trucks, and I got nine miles per gallon. And we're getting it from all angles. Okay. We're going to rock this. Okay. Super 10. I, super 10. I got Super 10 content. I can teach people how to shift to Super 10. Because that, that's relevant. Nobody can drive a manual anymore, Doug. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I can that? put my seven-year-old nephew in to drive a Super 10. Oh, we're killing it. Um, Quick question. Why does the truck have two brake pedals? What? One's a clutch. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Well, how does that work? Yeah. Uh, so that's the, let that's me show the you. I'll make a video and I'll show you. That's the comment you're going to get. Okay. Uh, G. Walker says FLD 125. Definitely a hood truck. Come on with it. I agree. Um, Are you planning on taking that XL hood off and uh, moving your axle and putting the FLD hood on that truck? I am not. Well, can uh, I can it guarantee me 5 million views and I'll do it. Well, let me explain to you how YouTube trucking works. Okay. Um, you need to be doing the things that make the least amount of sense. Okay. Well, let me start here. Let me start here with a classic. I'll work it's into good, it. It's a good maybe start. Next, maybe next year I got a Pete in the W9. I don't know. I'm just saying. Uh, Caltarusu Travel says you're, you're semi-hoarding. You know, there's a little bit of truth in every joke, isn't there? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this this guy. This guy. Paul, uh, he's going to be one of those guys, like, in 20 years, American Pickers is going to be out there at his house. <laughs> um, going, they need another shed. Yeah. Going, let me take you around to this other shed. And then you go through that one and then... Well, I've only got nine more sheds to go through right now. So, uh, 
this shed ain't been in in 20 years. I got no idea what the hell's in here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a classic. <laughs> oh, me. Air that conditioning still my, ain't fixed. That there's my classic that I bought from a YouTube channel in 2022. <laughs> <laughs> They'll say, YouTube? What's, what's that? Is that uh, like the TikToks? Oh, man. Oh, TikTok will be long gone by then. You know, um, you notice the more fad, you know, the quicker it goes away. So I imagine TikTok's got about another year in it, and then oh, we'll be on to the next new thing. Can't wait for TikTok to go away. So people come back to YouTube. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, I got a TikTok going over there. You know, I go over there and uh, you know, I upload videos because I figured, you know, at some point, a 14-year-old girl might want to know something about semi-trucking. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's, the, that's the demographic over there, right? 14-year-old girls? Yes. Okay. That's what I'm going for. I, that, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm trying to teach how to truck over there, I imagine. Uh, Paul Harris says, hey there, stopped for fuel in Ruther Glen. Hey, say that, R Ruther. Ruther Glen. R Ruther Glen. I've uh, been there a hundred times over there. Uh, what is there, Petro over there? What's over there? I think so. TA Petro. Uh, another 45 minutes, I'm going to call it a night. Come on with it. Let me talk you through that time there. Um, thank you, Roger Moore, for letting us know what we were missing. Uh, Chicken Hawk, can't comment too much. I'm loaded up and trugging. There you go. Well, hey. Like I say, this is like a podcast. You don't quite have to watch. Um, you don't have to watch. Uh, Ryan Peterson says, anybody get dropped uh, in the Dallas flow? Ooh. What's that? Is that I a new that, dance beat? Uh, I think that's where you catch something Down in there a in Dallas, this flow. I think that's... Uh, put, it, put, it, put it in a Ziploc bag and overnight it? Yeah. Mail it to me, come on. <laughs> Blinn says cha-ching. Yeah, he knows what's up with DIY's ideas over here. Hunter, it's not the size of the hood. It's the small hole you fit it in. Come on with it. Oh, That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Stark the Family says I watched Matlock back in the day. Yeah. Um, I used to have a time in life where I used to catch an episode of Matlock occasionally. Um, hey, hey, thumbnail coming soon. Cash is Matlock maybe. I had that little music they play. <laughs> can I be the? Can I be uh, his sidekick there? What the hell was his name? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, I don't remember. Vern? No, I don't Google remember. It. Google it. Julie March. Who are we talking? No, the other fella. Oh my God! It give me Wikipedia. Come on, Google. Give me the IMDb so I can see pictures. Wow, that show ran from 1986 to 1995. Dang. Uh, uh, what the hell is this thing doing? Okay, it's been a total bag. It's been a total bag. Matlock, the greatest cases. Ooh. Ooh, I bet that's a good I bet that's a good DVD collection. Uh you guys are Clink and Schultz. I know nothing. I actually know nothing. I have no idea. Uh Oscar and Felix? Odd couple. Oh, okay. Didn't know that one. With both feet, is that a violation from Texas for your new freight liner? Come on with it. Already melting violations on this freight liner. Mm. Uh, the rookie trucker does. Uh, yeah, he's got an XL back there. Look at that damn thing. What color would you say that is? I'd say blue. Like Werner, like old Werner Blue. You think that was an old Werner truck? I wonder. Did they run classics? They're only FLDs. They ran classics. They ran everything. 
Um, it might be an old Werner truck. I don't know. We'll find uh, out. Yeah. It don't quite look like the color of Werner, but who knows? I mean, uh, did Werner paint the frames on a truck? <laughs> Uh, I drive a 2007 Columbia. Come on with it. Uh, 1.4 million miles as of right now. There you have it. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Blend says, uh, lost shepherd to sheep. Come in, sheep. Got your ears on. Ah, come on with it. Bugatti's in the house. What up, Bugatti? How many miles did you run last week for the $9,200? Uh... I don't remember. It's in the video somewhere. Um, I always give the miles. Probably like 3,000-ish, something like that. I've been staying right around that $3 a mile, all-mile range. Um, uh, the headlights, yeah, there was probably more different on the Century in Columbia than just the headlights. But uh, Sweet Ride, yeah, I think it is. I'm I, I'm trying to get DIY in a situation where he has no option but let me go pick that truck up. <laughs> um, I don't know. I might have to send somebody pick it up. I don't know if I can get away I, for that long. I got to drive it back. It's like seventeen hundred miles. Bob tail back. I, I have experience in a uh, Super Ten, just so you know. Um, you know, you send one of these other scallywags out there to come back. You need a clutch. You know, just saying. Mm. Um, me personally never use a clutch. Um, it's just a second brake pedal to you. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I get in, I flip the little switch forward on the, uh, thing over here by the dad, by the, uh, steering column. Psh, never even use a clutch. Mm. Um, Century Hood and Speedo on a dash. Uh, I have owned both. Yeah, I, I've driven both. Century seem to be a little fancier, just like they're saying here. Freight litter, freight relocator says Century was a bit more fancy, but other than uh, that, they were the same truck. I think the Columbia was a cheaper, cheaperly, more cheaply made fleet truck. Not that the Century wasn't a fleet truck, but it seems like they took a Century and cheapened it up and called it a Columbia. Hmm. Which came first? The Century? Century. Century. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, sorry, the same truck. Basically, yeah, there's not much difference in them. Just looking at them from afar, uh, you know, you really got to know what you're looking for. Uh, Rich Tago, prime lease ops have to make good money with them decals and wrap jobs. Come on. Well, they got to have uh, a YouTube channel to pay for it. Uh-huh. Don't worry about them prime guys. They're, they're doing just fine. Just fine. <laughs> they got all the craft mac and cheese they can haul over there. Um, I have no idea what they haul. <laughs> Just assuming. Uh, freight leader, freight relocators. Wood floor is mandatory in the classic. Yeah, we're gonna drop some laminate flooring in there. Can I just go to Menards and get the eighty-seven cents a square foot uh, linoleum? Don't see why not. I can be the only one with a classic with a linoleum. Everybody's got a wood floor. I don't want to be like everybody else. I bought a linoleum floor. Uh, I'm just going to say if it were me and I was doing it for YouTube content, there. I mean, if it's not Italian marble, why are we even talking? Can't argue with that. I mean, what do you need? 40 square foot of it? Who cares if it's $3,000 a square foot? <laughs> it's not like I got a haul freight with it. Yeah, exactly. Weight? Is weight an issue in trucking? I didn't know weight was an issue in trucking. Not, if you're, not if you're green screen trucking. Oh, man. I marbled the walls. I just get in there and hose it down after a good week of trucking. <laughs> Put subway tile in it. Uh, do it for the content. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Um. I watched a YouTube video here recently claiming that fuel discount apps cards are uh, discounted due to fuel not being up to standards. Um, mm, wow. Where? What did this person base their opinion on? 
they heard it at the counter at the uh, Country Pride. Oh, I'm, I'm all in 100% then. It's got to be true. Yeah. <laughs> Story says, well, uh, I would just gut the inside of the truck if it's rough, but that's another video for me to make money. Is that what you're going to do? Yes. Gut the inside of that truck. Uh, Pat says, good to see you wearing your entertainment company hat. Yeah, uh, mine's called Come and Go. Uh, we make a certain kind of video. And I'm, not going, I'm not going to gut the inside of the truck. I'm going to gut a deer inside the truck is what I was saying. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, that's... It's for the content. For the content. Um gonna 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 take i mean i i hear you're gonna set up a butcher shop in there is that correct if it's the 84 inch bunk you're damn right yeah i mean why not why not walk in cooler yeah yeah exactly pull up to the farmer's market and sell some sell some chickens mm -hmm. <laughs> i figured that's what you were doing um mark m in the house yeah boy is that Mark M? Is he also Flavor Flav on the weekends? Uh, people don't know this about him, but he is. I seen him wearing a big clock around his neck. I thought it mm. might have been him. <laughs> yeah, it kind of narrows you down when you do that. I mean, he's, not many people. He's just walking around asking people if they know what time it is. Oh, what other kind of wall appliance could I carry around my neck to be unique? Uh, cuckoo clock. Ah, that's gangster right there. Um, flat screen TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that one. I like that one. A 32 inch Sanyo around my neck. Yeah. Yeah. Candelabra, <laughs> wall mounted candelabra. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, me. Yeah, when I get him a new large car, yeah, Big Daddy Crypto. That's his new ride behind him right there. Um, that's his new ride. You know, I was over at the truck dealership making some videos earlier, and um, they're still tripping. They're still tripping, yeah, dog. They're insane. I would sooner buy a truck like this and put $75,000 into it. Then yeah. I would buy one of their freaking ridiculous trucks. Yeah. It is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm thinking about buying that Mormon. Ooh, you beat me. Content. Content. Yeah. You'd be you see Mormon trucker. Can you see me pulling a reefer with a flat top 88 Mormon? You're damn right I can. Mm. Bought me some light loads because I ain't trying to pull them mountains with a 250 horse Cummins come on. <laughs> oh man, she be she be uh, pulling hard. Freight relocator suspect for profit. That trucking lifestyle is way in the past. Yeah, that's exactly right. Spec it for profit, or we content for profit. Yes, I was. That's what I was getting at. Here's the thing: you buy a truck that's spec for profit. And your YouTube channel will take four years to get to fifteen thousand and wait for it. Update fifteen thousand twelve subscribers. Okay. Ooh. It will take four years versus versus look at DIY and his classic over here. He'll be at a hundred thousand hey. subscribers by year end. I didn't even take the delivery of it. I already gained 50 subscribers just by putting it in my back wall. Exactly. Exactly. See, now I don't even have to buy it. I already got the, you know, I'll just keep using it as my green screen until I get 100,000. Then I just won't even buy it then. Hmm. And you can make a video, uh, like, you know, the downfall of trucking. Why, why I can't take delivery of my new truck. Hmm. Let me put my new truck in the background here. I have a friend that's selling an 85 359. Ooh, Ooh Anthem. That's sexy, man. I like that gold color, don't you? 
I do. I like money. I like gold. It wants to be yellow, but it's gold. <laughs> Look at you. Now, now tell me that wouldn't produce some content right there. Uh, a gold, a gold Mac. It would. I would want mine in gold leaf, though. Hand, hand rolled gold leaf. They mess I, it up at the truck wash. I'll sue them. Mm. Well, I guess you're gonna be suing some people. <laughs> <laughs> they they hit that gold leaf with that uh, 150 psi. They got coming. <laughs> that damn blue beacon can take three week old deer guts off my trailer. I'm pretty sure they're gonna mess up your gold leaf. Yeah. Uh, just saying. Uh, Rich Taco's got a uh, just having a Pete 389 will bring you a lot of subscriptions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find that happy median here. Uh, I'm thinking the new Mac Anthem here. But. Um, if I get, I hey, know. I'm, I'm uh, a and &E hoarding now. Maybe I'll get one of them too. Park it in the driveway. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, Blend says, I will buy my W900L with a 550 cap. Proudly, trucking lifestyle will never die. Come on with it. Come on with it. Um, Ryan Cash is leased to an 80-20 split carrier. He doesn't talk about the carrier, yeah. Boy, you don't know how many people not, like... Not to their face, anyways. Mm. Only behind their back. Mm -hmm. True that. Logical is in the house. Mr. Grafton's in here. Very logical. Um, are are you a, are you a Star Trek fan DIY? I am not. Okay. Uh, Freightliner Relocators Classic with an auto car hood, instant million sub. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you changed the hood out on that truck to something really uh, something really stupid, and I think I think you're cooking. Um, can, can we put a, uh, like if I get this Mac over here, I'm going to take the hood off a bus and put on there like a, like a school bus hood on there. <laughs> uh, I want to put the grill out of a 1989 Pontiac Grand Prix in it. Um, I think you should tell me about it. Uh, Stavros is in the house. What up? Stavros working on it. Freight relocators, TikTok ain't going away. I just uh, I used to say Facebook and YouTube would go away as a forum owner. Now I'm giving up and converting uh, to the new social media. Uh, Facebook, Facebook's doing a little uh, revamping right now. They ain't doing so well. They ain't doing so well. Um, and, and when I say go away, I just mean like they'll stop being the the, the you know. I mean, you can still get a my face, uh, MySpace account if you want it. Um, you know, AOL is still here. You know, internet stuff never dies; it just falls out of favor. Uh, Blend says uh, Gary V says TikTok is here to stay. Who is Gary V? Who who Gary V? Do you know Gary V? Gary, yeah, he's he's uh, one of those uh, like a billion subscribers and like a motivational financial type guy. Okay. Okay. Dallas Flood, no flow. Come on with it. Uh, late to the party. Catch on the rerun. Come on with it. Very much catch that rerun. Uh, are you up past your bedtime, DIY? I am, but Rich Taco's got my attention. Okay. Let's spec a truck for YouTube. That's a great idea. Um. What if? What if one was to, you know. For content, let people vote on certain quality, you know, things I'll do to the truck. Should I should I do this or should I do that? What should I do here? What should we do over here? I will tell you the first thing you should do with that truck. Take a ball bat to them hood mirrors. Okay. Like literally a ball bat for content. Then what? Um, I didn't think it passed that. <laughs> what uh, if we buy it for content, fix it up and give it away? 
Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if I could afford that, though. That that probably be pushing it. Depends. I don't know. If it freaking, if it blew up and got big enough, I could. Freaking Mr. Beast does it all the time, don't he? Mr. Beast gave the pizza guy his house. <laughs> I look a little beasty, don't I? Sometimes. Mm. Will the beastie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Paul Harris says, my Volvo is using government math, pulled in with eight gallons on the ECM, put in 160 gallons, and now it's saying 194. Paul Harris has a Volvo. Ain't that lady parts? Ah. Uh, tell him about it. Tell him to stop with his lady parts. Yeah. You know your lady parts could do do math, Paul Harris. I see with the 1999. This channel has 15,000 of the coolest subscribers of all time. Yeah. Yeah, it's not just a standard collection of uh, you know, a bunch of a bunch of crazy people. I mean, we're talking we're talking real uh survivors and doers over here. Thank you very much, by the way, for the super chat. Freight Relocator was called a Lightning 10 when 9 and 10 was automated. Yeah, I think we called it a top two. Yeah. Super 10, that's a transmission I have not seen for years, but I have driven one, yeah. Um, the guys, The guys who drive them are still trying to get here. <laughs> We're still out on the road trying to catch that top gear. <laughs> um, <laughs> the Our England loves entries, yeah. Um, with both feet, let me know when you pick up your new ride. I will feed your face, and we can jaw jack. Oh, I forgot about that, both mm. feet. You should go look at that thing for me. Mm. You should go check yeah. it out for me. He's going to jaw jack right into your face with food, I think, or something. I'm not sure what that. You see me trying to stop him? No. Um, Rich Taco, what was the price of a brand new reefer in dry van three, four years ago? Um, and what was the price that him used? About three or four years ago, you could get a new reefer trailer for 80 to 90 grand ish. I'd say even cheaper than that. You could get. Pretty pretty good specs on a reefer trailer, brand new for like seventy. Couldn't you? We're talking we're Vanguard talking... Max Cube. <laughs> no, but like we're talking what twenty eighteen. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, depend on how you spec in it, but yeah, kind of eighty to ninety on the high end, I guess. You okay. know, DIY's right. You you. You could find right markets, you know, right. You know, some, you know, the right dealer. Yeah. You could be in 75,000 on a, on a nice trailer. Now, you know, if, if you want the light package, you know, just saying. vans, vans at that time. Yeah. The vanguards you could get for like 32 mm -hmm. utilities. You're probably like 38 for a new van right around there. I bought a, in 2017, I bought a 2014 Great Dane with a 7,500 carrier unit on it for 39000 But the utilities were considerably cheaper, like 8000 cheaper. Right. So there you go. A little price in action. Uh, Captain Clean Winter, when I deliver FedEx trucks, I always ask them if they want me to go ahead and put her in the ditch. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah, I would imagine before you show up with FedEx trucks, they want you to run her through the ditch, get a little dirt on her, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, <laughs> that's good stuff. Uh, what's up with my insurance going up fifteen to twenty k a year after passing two inspections, having no claims and no violations? Uh, it's called everybody paying and smash them up in the truck stops. Yeah. Uh had another guy backed into yesterday. Damn it. That's a third time, second time he's been back. No, third time he's been backed into. It was just about everybody here's well, let me think. Every uh everybody here but one person has been backed into. At least once. Most of them more than once. 
So do you think it's a lack of training or a lack of caring or just the type of people that are coming Both. into trucking now? All three. Um, Dry, uh, the, the people don't take anything seriously. It's like, oh, yeah. I hit you. No big deal. Just a scratch. Just a, uh, well, no, a-hole. You freaking ripped the grill off my truck. You ain't, you ain't running away. Just yeah. things are, and they can't back up. You know, it's the training is bad. P- people don't have patience. Like a lot of things. You know, and, and the distractions. I was trying to leave a truck stop today, and a guy coming through the parking lot, and I could tell he wasn't even looking. He was literally looking down at his phone, going 15 mile an hour toward the exit. And I could have pulled out in front of him and got in front of him. Uh, but I figure, hey, what's the odds he slams into the side of my trailer? And then uh, I got behind him, and he did like four mile an hour all the way down the road beside the truck stop. Uh, obviously, on his, still on his phone, you know. I hit the air horn, didn't even affect him. Um, and then he gets on the freeway, and I, I stayed close enough so I could keep him in the dash cam because, boy, he was swerving. Oh, I was like, put her in a ditch, buddy. Please. For those very reasons, that is why I will never probably ride a motorcycle again. Yeah. Yeah, I was just sitting there thinking, put her in a ditch, buddy, so I can get this uploaded on YouTube today. Like, I need I need another video idea. How about, how about uh, you know, Cana- uh, stupid Canadian trucker puts Volvo in ditch. Um, hmm. Has good ring to it, doesn't it? Saw it happen live the other day. <laughs> Bison driver. Oh, really? Nice. Um, gots to have me a good thick rug flooring. Yeah. Shag, perhaps. Yeah. I got layers of rugs in my truck because, um, you know, I got I got a hook up over there at the Persian Rug Store, and number two. Uh, it's cold up here in the in the upper Midwest, and uh, when I get up in the morning, I don't like them. I don't like my toes hitting that cold ass floor. Layer them rugs up, dog. Layer them mm. up. That's what I always what about, say. What about heated linoleum floor? Now, how about just uh, how about just run uh, water tubes through it that uh, connect to your radiator, and uh, you know have a little valve out there. Uh, you know when you're idling your truck at night. Cause you know, you got a hood truck, you idle that some bitch, no matter whether you need it or not. I mean, yes. you know, 60 degrees outside at night, beautiful night, no rain, perfect sleeping weather. You better be idling that truck. I'm just saying like, uh, that, I think that's what determines if it's a hood truck or not. If you ever shut it off. Yeah. Yeah. When you shut it off, it's not a hood truck. <laughs> oh, wait, five dollar free relocator says, Bought 2018 Great Dane Drivan. Ah, love those trailers. Uh, brand new in September 2017 for 27750. It's worth eight million dollars today. Um, that was his retirement plan. Yeah. <laughs> if you'd have bought, <laughs> if you'd have bought two of them, you'd be living in the uh, Fiji right now. <laughs> That's right. Uh. Damn it, I only bought one of them. Got to retire here in the U.S. You, you'd have bought that house in Fiji if you'd have bought two of them. Um, insurance going up for my second year in business. Was expecting it to go down, not up. Oh, that's what she said. Um, am I right? Uh, Sorry, mm. <laughs> says, I'm fully equipped to go to deer in a truck along with a portable grill. Come on with it. Uh, check out my other channel, kind of second channel over there, Trucking with Diabetes. I'll show you how to cook big slabs of meat in a truck over there. Yeah, yeah, bone. Um, warm with the warm pink center. That's how I like to meat. Um, mm, yeah, buddy. Come on with I, it. Power wash it out. That's what you do. Uh, just ink a check and run. Come on with it. Uh, I totally agree. The dealerships are crazy with their prices. Yeah. Um, you know, we're talking we're talking 2019 Cascadias with 400,000 miles for 125 grand. Um, I'm I like, would sooner take 125. What year was it, and how many miles? 2019, 400,000 miles. I'd sooner buy a 2010 and stick 100 into it. That is, 
No, I wouldn't want a 2010. That's a bad emissions year, but you know the concept. I'd buy a 2000 and stick a hundred into it. Hashtag delete. Hmm. Hashtag maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I was just, I was like, how much was this truck brand new? You know, I'm like, how much? 100, 119,000. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, no thanks guy. I mean, I understand, you know, we're talking dollars are relative. You know what I mean? Like they're worth, they're only worth what people think they're worth. But I mean, damn, like, damn. Uh, apparently, Apparently they didn't get the memo. Freight's paying uh, pretty rough right now. Freight freight's pretty rough. Uh, Stargy says, "Guess I'm uh, behind." LOL. Three years of YouTube with 2,100 subscribers. Yeah, I mean, uh, are you are you pushing four videos a day like I am? Um, <laughs> um, that's that's my secret: quantity over quality. <laughs> that's right. Oh uh, me. I really shot myself in the foot when I bought this uh, uh, Colum uh, this uh, Cascadia Evolution. Uh, looking back on it, should have bought a 1984 Kenworth 100. Um, Brigadier, get yourself a Brigadier. Uh, yeah, yeah, should have bought me a GMC, a Ford Arrow Cab is what I should have been looking for. No, nope, that's an Arrow truck. Never mind. Scratch the Ford Arrow Cab. Can't do that. Um, have you thought about putting brick on the outside of that truck? You thought about bricking the outside? I have not. <laughs> How about a nice Wayne's coating around the sleeper? Yes, exactly. Exactly. How about a picket fence for a grill? Uh, Daisy May, Gold Mac, you'll need a stable of lot lizards. Come on with it. Come on with it. Uh, Pat says he already has a harem of commercial company ladies for his LLC. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm just saying, I'm a, I'm a broker. Come on with it. You know where I'm going with this. Uh, but I, I can't, uh, I can't tell you what kind of broker because it's a family show. But I'm just saying, uh, my clientele are lonely. Just saying. Uh, Need Company LLC. That's the name of our uh, talent agency. <laughs> <laughs> Great A Transportation DIY. Are you going to install a green AP on that classic? Come on, do it. Do Can it. I get? Can they bring me a million views. I don't know. Will they? Uh, will they give me one for free? Put it on for free. My, I bet. My, my first thought is no because it's a it has a loyal following and I, I have to go against the crowd. Mm, okay. I need to find the worst APU on the market and put it on there. So I got something to keep fixing and making content about it and cussing out. Okay. Okay. Um, Cash, I need a gallon of lot lizard sweat. I can't sell you a gallon's worth. It'd just be irresponsible. Can't ship it. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't ship it. Uh, technically, probably not legal. Uh, I need a prescription from a doctor. Just saying. I would both feet says I will go do a live uh, from it if you want. There you go. He's going to get the scoop on it. I'm going to be I'm going to be pretty raw if he goes over there and gets to make a video about your truck. Um, Rich Taco, we need a, a hot shot box truck just for lot lizard sweat. Come on with it. There'd be double insulated walls. Yes, sir. Or I would just get a Brinks truck if I was going to haul more than a gallon of that. You know. Um, just saying. With both feet, still your thunder with all 60 subscribers. Uh, you're one of them 69 subscribers. Yeah. Uh, thank you again for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, most of my videos are on how to do step-by-step -step repairs. I used to know a guy that used to do repair videos like that. Did three um, of them today or today and yesterday. Damn it. Hey, I'm waiting on fate to drop his uh, about you doing a video. Yeah, he come in the shop last night, sat down on the chair behind me, pulls out his phone, gonna make a video of me making a video. I'm like, Genius. I don't think you can do that. Can you? Just turn around, look at him, go beard game strong. 
I gave him some bad shrimp. Sent oh, him to the bathroom. Nice. Yeah. Good good plan. Good plan. Freight relocators, it says 185K from a 21 Cascadia, but uh, that was with full warranties, not just engine and after treatment, to 600,000 miles, APU, tank heaters, uh, and every option that I could possibly want. Okay. Does it have a grandfather clock? Yeah. That you could wear around your neck. Hmm. Please, please put a cuckoo clock in that uh, truck when you get it. Could you please, um, an old school, like, you know, spend some real money on it. Like an old German cuckoo clock. Okay. Just saying. Uh, Blends is in the house, says RX is on the way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need that uh, from your doctor. Uh, possibly some, some literature from your chiropractor. Um, <laughs> but, uh, hey, I think we're out of here. Yeah. Well, it's almost 11 o'clock, bro. Yeah. I got to get up at freaking quarter to five. Mm, quarter to five. Yeah. I got, I got some traveling to do tomorrow. I got to go somewhere for something and then turn around mm. and come back home again. Damn it. Then the next day go on the road. So yeah. Payments and breakdowns, that's what will get you on a $150,000 truck every day. Uh, make a video of DIY making a video is like breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We don't break four walls over here. Um, no do interest we? was finally able to build a business account enough to write a check for $185K. Come on with it. Nice. That's pretty sweet. Well done. They say it can't be done, freight relocators. You've done it. Yeah. Yeah. I tried that one time, but, uh, you know, spin it, spin it in not a, such a wise way. They, you wrote, you did that once, and they threatened to prosecute you for writing that check? Uh-huh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I said, oh, I, I didn't realize I put two more zeros on that. Um. So yeah, um, 185k. It's better. Better have a Scarface tub. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Um, <laughs> Can we get put a hot tub in that truck, DIY? Do it. Hot tub time machine. What about what about taking out the bottom bunk in the, in all the cabinets, putting a chest freezer in there, and a whole kitchen, a countertop with appliances, dishwasher. Stove top, microwave, no. cuisine art, toaster I like oven. <laughs> I like where you're going with that, and I know you would have went all damn night with it. Uh, <laughs> you would have had a slap chop in that son of a bitch if I can cut you off. <laughs> and uh, Clean it with a sham oil. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Popeil over here in his freight liner. Um, uh, how about this? How about this? You gut that you gut that sleeper down to nothing. Okay. And build a world class bathroom in there. A shower and everything. I'm talking high flow toilet. I'm talking about you could you could drop a Coke can in that toilet and it could flush it. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to handle that kind of capacity. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just saying. Where does just it all for, go? Uh fuel tank uh, nah just blast it out on the truck stop parking lot <laughs> aim it towards Everybody the drive shaft <laughs> aim it toward the drive shaft oh we um just trucking says appreciate the live guys hey thanks for stopping by appreciate it a buddy of mine had a good point the other day he said instead of these guys uh using the bathroom in a bag and then throwing it in the parking lot won't they just use the bathroom in the parking lot that way, when it rains, it'll wash it away instead of it's like mummifying your your you know your turd. And I'm like, it's a great point, you know. Like, uh, but a better point would be stop doing all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Act like a human being. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, just pulling up in Kent, Washington. All right, we talked Papa into it. We talked him to the house. Uh, have a great night. Uh, catch you. Yeah. 
yeah, thanks everybody for stopping by. Much appreciated everybody watching for two hours. It was a crazy night. Congratulations and, uh, on uh, 15,000 subscribers. Yes, thank you very much, everyone that jumped in on that and pushed the uh, pumped up the volume, as I like to say. Um, I just came in here to pump up the jam. I don't know about everybody else. I, I know you to you to jam you to jam. We're at 15,015 right now. Uh, so we did it. Much appreciation, everybody. Uh, thanks, DIY, for hanging out and actually running the show for quite a bit of the show. Thank you for that. Um, everybody go that. over to DIY's channel and uh, um, leave, leave a, a How about this? Leave a nice comment. I've been getting so much effing hate in the comments lately. Maybe somebody say, hey, hey, you're looking kind of nice today. Nice hair. Your eyes are pretty. I don't know. Something. Instead of, you're a moron. What'd you do that for? <laughs> yeah, go over there. Leave him a comment that says, uh, "says your cheeks are looking firm today." Let's clap them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love right, to clap gonna, them for you. We're gonna bow out on that. DIY is <laughs> gonna clap for you. I gotta go to bed. I'm getting All delirious. Right, later, everybody. Bye. See ya.